Noah Autumn Winter 2024 has dropped and it's banging. This might be a return to form. I think I've said it in previous seasons on this particular pod that I haven't been that infused by some of the Noah NY offerings, which has been quite upsetting because I'm a big fan of Brendan Babzian. Obviously, he's a former designer of Supreme and has a lot of kind of credit in the bank with doing a lot of great shit. He's the one kind of responsible for some of the great stuff we're seeing from J. Crew at the moment too. And just an all-around creative when it comes to, an all-around genius actually, when it comes to creating like menswear slash streetwear clothing. Um, always really kind of unconventional type of running stuff like, you know, um, corduroy running shorts and different types of lining and fucking snapback hats. Just a very creative um, thinking out the box type of dude. So I always kind of liked his version of menswear streetwear i kind of felt like when he did leave supreme there was a market dip in the offerings in terms of jackets and in terms of the nautical and kind of you know inspirations that kind of would seep through some of the outerwear i think some of his tenure was one of my favorite pieces some of my favorite parkers actually came from his time at supreme and obviously some of that stuff he's been able to kind of feed back into noah but i felt like over the years it's not been that great but i feel like this particular collection might be a return to form so this is courtesy of noah the blurb to begin with says what does what do what you do is most important what you wear less so let your actions define you and your clothes to be the reflection of who you are i've heard it said that clothes make the man but sometimes trying to sell you something probably said that in my view a person should never let their clothes define them in a strange twist of fate those who aren't fluid sorry those who aren't ruled by fashion often end up looking the best anyway i agree with that also so maybe this is the reason why he's taken maybe a step back from trying to be too fashiony and sort of show off his design chops and just went back to making like great staples like look at this trench coat look at this trench look at this corduroy trench coat look at that look at that just look at what that looks like look at that look at the finish on that look at that turtleneck underneath with this with the pockets on the side the, the shape of the trousers the fucking shoes like everything is just done so sublimely well and again you can tell he's been having some fun with this and it's just come out looking great the lookbook pictures are fucking fantastic too i love the i love the tone on this purple cardigan here um with the buttons all the way up i'm not sure what that finish is actually called but i love when the buttons go all the way up on cardigan so usually you don't get that style usually they end up here on the four button loops here as well um again another pair of corduroy pants in brown i don't really like to wear big being a, a a black man myself i don't really like to wear brown pants but i don't really mind those this particular look is one of my favorites i'm not gonna lie double breasted jacket with these nice big gold buttons tartan print on the suit nice pop white shirt I'm not too sure if he's got a waistcoat underneath there but he's got some jeans on perfect sizing i like the styling too of this lookbook with the addition of the white socks with penny loafers i think we've missed a lot of that right it reminds michael jackson it reminds me of like you know um take ivy type of style like just a nice crisp white socks and even that particular white socks are quite hard to get the ones where there's no bunching and they actually do hold up right up above your calves so hopefully they're selling these as well because they look really well done so i like everything about that particular look that might be one of my favorites you've got that same cardigan that i like available in green um you've got another vest a utility vest here which i'm a big fan of here in the navy that looks fucking beautiful oh also another good style tip which i've always been a fan of is letting their models wear like their own shoes and actually wear shoes that have been worn in a bit i think that actually makes the lookbooks actually look a little bit more interesting for me oh look at that belt i love that belt that that double belt is fucking incredible mind you something that i, I would have bought in camden market back in the day that's fucking banging i'm not mad at that in the slightest um you've got this really nice green um noah hoodie available with a little noah oh look i actually like that branding this is like a, it feels like an over dyed or i don't have that style is called of uh hoodie print or finish wash but then on the front kangaroo pocket towards the bottom top corner you've got the noah emblem here which is kind of that cross sort of design thing they've got going on on their brand so that that cross there that red cross is available right there little hit there again the color in the what you call it the, the tones of colors here chosen with particular model on the right hand side look really cool as well you know, got some the imagery for the lookbook is really well done i'm not going to lie it's really well done nice offering with suits here available nice baggy um boxy cut suits nice tones of color of shirts levers the noah hat with the end is not bad as well i think the noah hat with the end might be ebbett fields i think so might be ebbett's but that's really well done as well I think that's felt material. Loads of good, good high quality on there as well. I'm not mad at that. 
Again, the belt that I like. Again, the addition of the white socks with the loafers, which I'm a big fan of. Oh, some I like this look here. Again, you see what I mean about the... Look how much different. Look how much better this particular look looks with normal shorts. Not jorts. Look how much better that looks. The guy's wearing shorts that end up above his knee. Nice white socks. Nice converses, which might be a collab. I'm not too sure if they are a collab, but they look really nice there. Um, oh, look at that jumper, actually, with the rose. I'm not mad at that at all. The cardigan with the rose. Um, there's a Noah, oh, there's a hooded Noah coach jacket. Is that what I'm seeing here? Oh yeah, it's like a coach jacket, a hooded, but it's got buttons on the on the on the collar. So maybe there's a hood you can attach to it. But I like that. The sweatshirt, I also like the look of. Yeah, those are browns. Those are nice earthy tones. Those particular loafers look fucking amazing. There's a really nice. I think they're called Alice. I forgot what they call it. Alice or Mary Jane sandals. Those are really nice too. In the soft brown. <sighs> wow man this is so good this is definitely one of their best collections in recent years or oh, that multi-stripe that multi-stripe sweatshirt is gonna be a fucking hit this season for sure this is definitely one of gonna be one of their sold out pieces this multi-stripe sweatshirt with the different stripes and different colors and shit Oof. and for sure a lot of girls a lot of the a lot of the you know a lot of our more chunkier style girls that like to wear cargo skirts with like foam posits and jordans they're gonna go all over for these like pleated skirts as well you know it's a it's a bit um it's a bit amish you know but i do like the look of it i'm not gonna lie um again oh look at the color of this particular is that a wow is that like a that's like a like the same shape as a barber I don't know what that particular shape jacket is called a barber jacket but they've replaced the material instead of having it waxed this almost feels like it's like is that is that wax or is that suede that might be actually a wax material but it's actually got wrangland sleeves that's so cleverly done so you got the same shape as a barber but it's got wrangland sleeves but then it kind of looks like suede but it actually might be it actually might be a wax material but that green is beautiful oh look at that purple vest that purple but oh there's so much stuff here that i would absolutely buy in a heartbeat on god and heaven on god and absolute heaven let me actually get this looking down where are you wow so much good shit here so much good shit again multi-stripe beanie that's gonna sell out for sure i know i, I see the stuff that everyone's gonna buy and absolutely want a piece of that that plaid shirt here is fucking beautiful yeah, there's so much good shit here. So much. Let me actually see what's available. I actually would love to see what's actually available at the moment. Let's see if we can see any of that available now on the shop. Let's actually click there. Let's actually click this shop. Let's see autumn winter 2024. Let's see if any of it comes up for us. Because I'm curious to see what is sold out, what hasn't sold out, and what is actually available, what isn't available. Let's see what one. So, um, some of the jeans are still available. 235. Has has the pricing increased or is it still the same? It's still the same, isn't it? It's still the same. You got the double breasted jacket. It's called a Blackwater Blazer 1225. God damn it. Um you've also got the loafers. You got the cardigan that I like the look of. It's called a Shetland cardigan, which is 305 pounds. The belt that I like, eyelet belt 186. I'm sure I could find the same belt in Camden for like 30 quid. That's the only problem. Obviously, their one's gonna be way better material. You can actually tell from the picture here probably a high quality lever let's, actually, let's check the product description actually see what they're saying but the pricing of noah is a bit exuberant in it it's kind of um they kind of remind me of like visvin with their pricing honestly they, they kind of remind me of visvin with their pricing like crazy so the actually the brown belt is sold out in more colorways than the black interesting i thought the black is better so it's made in italy and it's 100 leather eyelets and metal buckle metal eyelets and metal buckle yeah it would be obviously far better quality than the one i would probably get if i went to fucking camden but i'm not sure you can justify paying 185 for a belt like this to be honest you know at least give me a little bit of brand at least give me like a red embroidered cross symbol somewhere you know so when i fucking pull up my trousers people can see oh shit he's wearing a noah belt you know at least give me a little hit a little like red embroidered thing here a little maybe a little embroidered n or something n for nigger n for noah whatever give me something just give me a double you know a double eyelet bell and then just say yeah there you go you, you know it's you know it's noah you know it's noah you know it's not from camden i'm like brother no one else will know <laughs> you know 
No one else would know if I'm not if it does have a little bit of branding on it. Like, give me something, bro. God damn. They don't give you fucking anything. They don't give you nothing, these people. Um, we continue on. Oh, this is a sweatshirt I was talking about. The striped, what's it called? Striped Don Don Gao sweater. It's 265 pounds. Let's see if I'm right about it selling out in most sizes. It sold out in most sizes, or was I wrong? Let's see what it says here, courtesy of the site. Oh, it's actually available in all sizes. Wow, okay, I was wrong then. Uh, maybe the... Oh, no, actually, it is sold out. See, I knew it. I guess you know, buying expertise strikes again. Stripe, dongao, shaker sweater, all sold out in all sizes. Not surprised. This is definitely the standout piece of the season. This is fucking gorgeous. Like, so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look how well it's styled with that yellow hat with the fucking olive pants with the soot like the pants are probably sweat out because i don't like the pockets i think they make everything a little bit too frumpy probably want to think a little bit too flat but look how well this looks imagine wearing these with a pair of shorts and some nice vans or converses or even some birkenstocks this will look so good yeah i'm not surprised this is sold out actually in the slightest and then last thing i want to check out is the hat and maybe the socks as well i think the socks are still available i think they're like 25 pounds for a pair of socks which is kind of nuts if you think about it right 25 pounds for a pair of white socks is kind of insane yo nowhere is like the american visitor i swear to god 25 quid for white socks is wild but again it's made with love um what we got here let me see have they got that that hat with the n where's that hat with the n on it i want to see how much that shit is do we have that hat with the n or is that not available just yet uh we've got some more stuff here socks sandals this that and the other do we have the hat with the n we got Banaclava, we got pop okay, pop socks, which are twenty-five. We've got a Mizu water bottle forty-nine. The tote bags are beautiful, by the way. The classic tote bags are really beautiful. I'd much prefer to get one of these than buy, you know, cringy Ur one one. The classic tote bags are really nice. Just just, just wish they would have another strap so you could kind of carry it crossbody. I hate how they always have it on the shoulder, so you have to carry it like a bunch of sticks. I'd want a crossbody type of thing if possible. But I guess you could just easily install that yourself if you wanted it. But yeah, the, the N hat isn't available just yet. No N hat just yet. But that N hat is probably one of my favorite pieces, but it's not available to purchase just yet. But regardless, that is Noah Autumn Winter 2024. I'm sure most of it is going to probably come out later down the line. But so far, all the pieces I said will be popular have sold out. So I recommend you check it out if you're that way inclined. You should maybe try and check it out if you're that way inclined. If you don't want to check it out, I also understand. 